Hi YouTube, this is Diesel Dawn. Uh, sorry, it's been so long since I've posted a video, but you know what, life's been hard. Recession, work, hot. It's a hundred and some degrees here in Missouri right now. It's been that way for about the last two, three weeks. Um, but hey, you know what? I got a new generator. I've not, I don't think I've ever owned a brand new generator. I've always got everybody uh, old, broke down pieces of crap that I've had to fix. But uh <clears throat> saw this one on uh online and it looked like a pretty good deal and it's got some features that I was looking for. Um I've got an RV and I, I used to have a Yamaha 2000 watt inverter generator. Fantastic machine, but just wasn't quite big enough. It wouldn't run my AC. Had to make an adapter to run my camper off of it. Um so and then I found this thing. It's made by Max Peating Rods. Um They've been in business since 2006. Seems to be a great company. Um, they they build turbos and and connecting rods and engine parts, suspension parts. Uh, look them up. They're they're a really good company. Um, and they came out with this generator. They came out with two ver or three versions of them already. They came out with a 3200 watt, and then they went to a 3300 watt, and now they've got a 3500 watt. And this is a 3,500 watt surge, 3,000 running watt. I think that's 29.2 amps surge and 25 amps running. Um, I've tested it. it, it does. It puts out what it says it is. I mean, we're gonna do a video later testing the output. <coughs> um, Gen Max makes one identical to this, except they're calling theirs a 3,300, but it's same setup. I don't know if they, use something different max beating rods to get to 3500 watt um <clears throat> but as of now i can't really see a difference between the two um it's a nice machine it's got a actual 30 amp rv plug two 20 amp plugs two usb ports uh, one is a 1 amp and the other one is a 2.1 amp. I wish they would have just made them both 2.1 amps, but it is what it is. You've actually got an AC reset button, so you don't actually have to shut your machine off to reset everything. Parallel ports. You've got your economy switch on most uh, inverter generators. Grounding lug. It's your shut off. Cho uh, run. Choke. And then your AC breakers up here for individual plugs does have a co2 alarm which is getting pretty common on the inverter generators i mean it's all right i guess not really needed in my opinion but hey teach their own have people killing each other less it is a you don't have a switch on top of your fuel cap it's just automatically vented which is nice because on my yamaha i forgot to turn on that vent switch every time i went to go start it and it run like butt and i go oh you gotta turn that switch on, dummy. So, it doesn't have one. That's, I like that. On the side here, let me get turned around. You got some really good access ports. You've got your oil port. And I actually replaced my oil cap with a magnetic oil cap. I recommend this on every generator because these do not have an oil filter. And that magnet really picks up a lot of the debris that would else time be going into your engine um very important especially when you're doing your break-in uh, we'll go over that later on the break-in process air filter these are your drain tubes for your carburetor if you ever want to drain it out to winterize it Put these covers back on you've got your spark plug access okay real nice a lot of room to get your spark plug um one of my complaints I do have is this is what comes with it. You've got your filler tube, screwdriver, spark plug kit, and your parallel cables. It actually comes with the parallel cables, which, which is nice. But the tool they gave you for your spark plug, when you put it down in there, you have to bend this plastic out a little bit for it to get square on the plug. I'm not a big fan of that. They should notch that at least. Now, if you just use a regular wrench and an extension, it won't. It won't interfere. 
So that's kind of nice. I've installed a hour meter on it because it does not have an hour meter. Um, it's one of the things I do, I am kind of disappointed on. Let's go back here to the front. Is that you do not have any displays of any sort. All you've got is your AC, your overload, and then your low light. So no fancy digital displays, no hour meter. But hey, for 10 bucks, I'll just get a new hour meter. Um, let's see what else we got here. It comes with a one year warranty. Um, the manual, believe it or not, is all in English. You don't just have an English section, a Chinese section, German section. You get a manual and it's all in English. That's, that's kind of nice. You don't see that very often. Um, it does not have a sh fuel shutoff per se, but there's kind of a secret to this. Um, you've got your, you turn it to run, you know, you choke and then you run. Well, when you, you want to run it out of fuel, you turn it almost to off and that will actually shut off your fuel. The generator will still run, but the fuel will not flow and you can run it out of fuel for winterization. So it doesn't say it's got a fuel shut off that you can run off, but it actually does. It's kind of a secret there. Um, some of the pros and cons. This thing only weighs like 50 pounds, give or take. Um, I don't have an actual scale to, to provide you visual what it actually weighs because my wife does not believe in having any kind of scale in the house is what it is. But there's, they're saying on some, some side of 50 pounds, which I, that's about right. Uh, it actually weighs just a tad more than my Yamaha did, but with a lot less or a lot more wattage. Um, it's a small size. It's not very much bigger than a 2000 watt inverter generator. It does have that 30 amp plug. Um, it's really quiet, not quite Yamaha and Honda quiet, but just barely above them. I mean, it's still amazing. Um, now what I think it does have an unusual engine. Most of your generators have either a Yamaha clone engine or a Honda cloned engine. This one has a 125 or 145, apologize, CC engine that is recommended or that has a max operating speed of 4,600 RPM. Let's see if it says right here. Oh, I apologize, 4850 RPM. And that is how I think that they are able to get 3,500 watts out of this smaller package. It's great. The downside is, is normally at the higher rate, higher rev engines, your reliability starts to suffer. Um, everything wears faster at that higher RPMs. Now, with it being an inverter generator, you put it on economy mode, it's gonna run at your lower RPMs depending on your load. So if you're at your lower RP, if your RPMs lower than what the other engines are running, it's gonna last just as long. Um, another downside of this is I do not know the manufacturer of the engine. Um, I think it's Dean Queen, Dean King engines maybe. Um, I'll post a link of the, or I'll post a picture of the sticker, the emission sticker, and maybe somebody in the comments can maybe do some digging and figure out the actual engine on it. I've contacted Max Peening Rods for an actual shop manual or service manual, and all they want to send me is the owner's manual. Um, so that ain't going to do me any good. So parts may be a little tough to come by. Um, there's a YouTuber called Johnny's Weekends. He seems to he seems to have a place where he could get parts for these generators. He's actually reviewed this as well. Um, he reviewed the 3300 series. Uh, as of my now, there's nobody that's reviewed this 3500 series on YouTube. Um, I'll have to get with him and see where he could found parts for these at. So far, I've not had a problem out of it, but I've had very little runtime on it either. Um, so going forwards, I'm sure parts availability will get better. But as of now, it's going to be tough to find any parts or any kind of specs on it. Um, but anyway, let's get this uh, let's get this over and do some uh, sound testing, and see if we can get a load test on it. I've got 
Alright, here we go. This is it running in economy mode. I've got my meter set up at 23 feet. Walk over here. About 58. 58, 59 decimals. That's on economy mode at 23 feet. Now let's go ahead and put this off economy mode. Champion 3500 and uh, I think Generac makes a big 3500. They're a little bit quieter, but they're a lot bigger too. 